Hey everyone, this is Baylor, and in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use scratch snippets in TextMate. So this is going to be a very simple tutorial, kind of short. Uh, if you don't know what a snippet is, basically if I go ahead and grab one of these snippets that I have open in my bundle editor, doo -doo 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 -doo, there it is. I um, see here's our, here's Baylor Ray's bundle, and it has all the little snippets that I've made to my uh, my computer or to my text mate and basically the one I'm going to show you that's so cool is this this little PHP debug so basically what it does here is it's going to echo out a pre-tag and it's going to echo out a closing pre-tag and between that it goes out a print R and it goes ahead and sets me up to echo out a variable so it's kind of complicated let's kind of just look and see what happens if I type in debug if I type in debug and hit tab you can see where it's echoed out that, that at pre tag and the closing pre tag, and then we get the variable name. And I here I could just do something like uh, results. See, it's very easy for me to just go ahead and throw that in there and press tab and get to the end of it. So that's what a, a snippet does basically. And we're going to kind of look at the structure of a snippet, but they get kind of complicated. Basically, what you can do though with a snippet is let's look at some. Let me find find one by ph well, from the PHP thing that's just really useful. Like if I type in class. It goes ahead. It goes ahead and creates the entire class for me. So that's what a snippet does, basically. But the thing about a snippet, while it's really useful, it just doesn't do a very good job for whenever you want to do something really quick. So what I mean by that is, like, if I want to create a, um, like, if I was creating a form element, for instance. So if I had my my form, so we'll just open up a form tag. So method equal to post. Let me change my type to HTML real quick. HTML. Basically, if I was doing something, I was creating a form element. I did something like div class field, and then inside that I had a label for, and this would be the title. And then we had our echo input. So you can see it's taking a while to do this. Um, okay, and then if I wanted to do another one, I have to copy all this, paste it, and I have to go and replace each part individually. Well, with a scratch snippet, what you can do is you can go into your your text, and what we'll do is we'll say um, dollar sign uh, braces one colon, and we'll just put in like uh, ID. And what we'll do for this is we'll go to, go to the next one, and we'll put in uh, dollar cults braces two, and we'll put in text. Now what we can do with that is this is the structure of a snippet. That's basically TextMate's way of saying this will be the first thing that you go to, and this is the text that will be selected. And this, when you press tab, this will be the second thing that you go to, and this is the text that will be selected. So if we go ahead and copy this and hit Control Option S, and I can move that, and I hit Shift Option S, you can see it runs it. You can see ID has been selected. And here I can put in something like title and I can go to my text and say title like that. So that's the basic of a snippet and I press tab and it takes me to the end of it. Well we can further this to make it even more complicated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that same type of thing that ID and we'll do title or yeah title will be fine and what we'll do here is where we have our name we'll actually put in just dollar one and we'll have the other one we'll do dollar one what this will do is it will take the value entered for the first one and it will duplicate it into these two. So let's go ahead and copy this, hit Control Option S, and we'll hit Shift Option S, and you can see right here I can type in a title. So we'll do like title and title. Do another one, which you got the, the tab off, but we can do another one. Here what we'll do is say like uh, email address, We'll do another, we'll just do email like that. And you can see it's very easy to go through and do a scratch snippet. So where it's really useful, let me try to type this in really fast, is like I can do uh, backslash dollar, dollar one variable equals backslash dollar post um, one like that. If I do this, control option S and hit shift S, you can see I can do like name, email, title, and you can see I'm quickly getting these post variables from, and we're automatically creating the variable name. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, you want me to further this, ask me in the comment section below this video, and goodbye.